Hello and welcome to today Milo Murphy Vlog. Yeah, let's talk about the timing on this one. I want to get to you. Go, go, but go quickly. Go, Milo Murphy is starting to add the channel, of course. However, it's not part of the whole Disney, Disney, Disney Channel thing we do with all the other shows that start working or whatever. No, they can getting a somewhat normal time clock during the day. It can be the guy to start preparing some new episode first before the D. You know, like they did in reverse back in the day, which both times they had a pretty different reason for. The first time, Ukadi D first to promote the second time because they want to move animation fully there. Well, here, the main reason is the rating on D so far aren't the greatest so far doing this to put the D channel, which Fine, but it's only been a few episodes, guys. Wait, you know, don't don't jump the gun so quickly, you know. Give it a few more episodes, and then if they keep them bad, then do it. I'm surprised it's not doing the great because advertising all over the place. Every ad, before so weird, every like Brad break had an ad for the show, and I heard about everywhere, every quickly, every bring it up person wants to talk about the show, probably because of a combination of being Phoenix Verb and Weird Al. It's cringy, and yet come out to do great. That kind of lot of things lately, but for Venture Game King didn't do particularly well, despite being the one on 100th decom, which had huge advertisement. I mean, Christ Almighty, everyone got tried to I'm back. It didn't do that well. How the fuck did that happen? Go two K of stuff not doing well, despite being advertised all over the place. You're going to get bomb, get big tug, and we're going to advertise very well. Here, I got advertised very well. I'm getting it. Go up here and go to the end shop first, which would be fine if we're working on a weird day, the pink wind day, and another local tomorrow, believe it or not, and on at 3.30 p.m., which is slightly more convenient for me, because I have stuff I do at Kevin, but, but also not so convenient for most other people. Did they have deep pull the trick with a star at the first, for, for, but that didn't take deep, I can't expect that from them. You know, it's like, go clear that they still have a whole lot of faith in this Disney channel, like, I have a lot of faith in this show, at least. But, whatever, at least we're getting to Epico again, two this week, a light mini Milo bomb. We don't own it tomorrow, we got before about it, anyway. We're going to today, got the code, which are, starting with, Party of Peril, 2.45, when, yeah, timestamp for when they go dark, if I do a feel. I do. Party of Peril, written by Martin Olkin. Good to know he got here. Go, it is Milo's birthday. His 13th birthday. I mean, I can imagine that. They are one kid will come private party. Well, they have to get ready for all planned, all bad things to happen. And of course, distract them while they don't look a private party. And that's roughly the plot. Yeah, we're already doing the birthday party, birthday upcode, and the kind of upcode they have to distract them. But thankfully, it's not the time where it gets really suspicious. He's just like, oh, okay. Which all, um, Rick and Kong in this one. Um, the other one got some guys in this as well. Um, Rick and Kong got playing while they're doing the birthday thing at the end. It's a nice Kong, not particularly memorable. Um, still a Kintan Kong. Um, I think the each episode can and perhaps when rooting for the enemy, had a Kong at least one point. I could hope they are gonna do every Kong every episode thing. I could probably get first they didn't do it because they weren't sure they wanted to. Kind of like how it happened at Finney. Now they know we're gonna do it. Go, so, fun. And I probably don't have a whole lot to say for this one. Not trying for the other one, but trying for that one because but I know that this one, this one's a little more plot focused and the painting more deliberate. Like it's a little, maybe not slow, but definitely steadier. Just kind of like, okay, it's not quite a fast and not nearly as many gag. Like we're up, go get fat painting. There's a gag every minute. We are like. A gag every little bit and with some part going on a bit long. And uh that's that one big point about the point of that in a slower paint. So it's not it's, I like the show so far because of all the gag here. We're like playing a good gag with Cora Cop. I like Rock and Guard returns for a, a bit they go a bit too long, but Gotham Cast Line he's well good duck. And you have a good little bit like the mall for drive through the window. Or industrial industry. <laughs> Or via the regal stretch of Amanda, who I'll talk about more via Replica because she has more to do in that one. Um, there are definitely a fair amount of good jokes. You know, like, uh, some, like the bit of found at the beginning, the resolution to it all. There are some good jokes, but there's not as many as usual, which it's not like a particularly curious or involved plot. It's just him doing stuff while I get part ready. 
you could have made it really fat pink and have a ton of dough, but I, but I could probably want to be more deliberate. And the art kind of make up for it. Go, so, I don't mind it, but I thought it could have been a great episode if they had a fat painting on top of a Call of Story. And again, the gut code is a good book, and they're trying to make it make it right. And I think that can be sweet undercurrent to the gut code, and it definitely would make it stand out, especially with how everything worked out in the end and how. They are, like, they are able to prevent anything too horrible from happening. But one of the best things that does happen, it, all the fault they leave balloons that float and then the plane going by and he keeps the balloon. And he's just flying the plane making regular balloons go, ooh, balloons. It can go damn far for getting distracted by balloons. I mean, come on. I know I float. Yeah, I float, but come on. <laughs> then, you know, they've got something good now, come on. But yeah, looking definitely a slow and deliberately pinked up with code and with but I feel like it had a fair now good gag and it had some fastness here and there. And it makes more call plot. Go with a call up code. I wish it looked like a better paint because I would I would almost very good though. Fortunately it just didn't quite cut it. But it's still an entertaining up code with some good gag. You know. Also the flash boy appear in the background again, which means we might be done with the um yeah, cook, um, this is channel, I checked all the ending medical far, no pistachio boy. So, um, a couple people bet maybe they're making you pay to get a pistachio boy, which is probably a coin if they're not playing that far ahead. It has to be a coin but it's still fun. But here, they're here on the first ending, which means they're probably not doing that anymore now that they appear in full. Great, you kept it up for all two episodes, two full half hours. Great. You know, they like pull pee in the fall. Um, they actually, I'll talk about that, but, um, but, yeah, not a whole lot to give a couple code. It's a birthday up a code, you got some gag, and the fleet under the corner. Again, we could show it, they'll continue. Make go code pop apparel, they can call it up a code. May not the best up a code, but welcome to viewing, but, hey, and they've already had a reference to him, or Malkin, playing, apparently playing Dr. God. Oh, sorry. Go fat party apparel for deleting and then what's okay about it to go get even more deliberately picked up a code. Go, but most people probably don't like it. But if you like folk who take fat pink, you might be disappointed with one. But either way, it is a good up code. Now on for the slight more interesting one move operator or opera tour again. Opera eater, move operator. Anyway, written by, I believe, Danny Vetri. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think I'm going to get I could have checked behind two lady. I'm hoping it is. In this one, Milo go to an opera with their friend Amanda, who is apparently big into order and stuff, and, uh, and that kind of means she's got to go out with Milo, come Milo to make sure that nothing goes wrong with the opera, which, knowing him, and he just can't have been done. So, I could probably go first thing to talk about the couple code, and probably be the most important thing. It's a tough, well, for, for to all, after a bit lack of a D.O.G. thing, we do have a D.O.G. go home joke, and again song. <laughs> In opera song, go home. <laughs> See, don't give up. You're up to be the opera, but we still have it. <laughs> they could do crazy thing with uh, the Yoshi go home thing. But uh, he appeared to be everyone, but he already home. Go or not, okay, technically, but he works, should be. Anyway, the important thing here is that Amanda finally gets fleshed out of the character because they made sort of a deal of her on the other character because she went back to the some team between whatever. But so far, she had two lying in total for the first three half hours. And so I'm wondering when she can actually matter. Both being up close, she, she appear again. In party apparel, she soon have big and the DT thing, wanting order and like a gag where Blue could get her into all of this by basically gang. Oh, we're gonna make it all chaotic, like, she's like, no. Yeah, so. And they're kind of a cliche trait to give her, but I feel like for both of them, gonna get work because get tape. But it's not like they go crazy far with it, and they vary it up on. And for type of code, you know, they're gonna do a ton with it. It's just another thing that happened, and I feel like it's they, exaggerated and definitely you know, crazy. You know, it's crazy. It's just silly. They're perfectly gag. They're going to part with two guys, like, scared by her. Which, the only gentle thing, because, like, I think at that point, the outcome too, but that weird. But, um, but oh well. Never mind, I do my mind, so we don't go too far with it, and. It leads to coming and string in the cup code because Milo apparently liked her and that it only really bothered the beginning. That the rest of it kinda of played off of it. But only for part really happened yeah, he liked her. Which 
Yeah. A lot of people speculating what the ship would be. A lot of people getting going to go Milo and... A lot of people want Milo and Gak, but Disney, but, you know, kind of happen, kind of happen. And, of course, we're gonna go. But, I, of course, I'll go for the teacher in the deck. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't wait for a repeater again. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's my OTP. Um, you know, I'm looking for the Iggy bed, but a lot of people can't think you all too. I don't know. There's coming about when it just doesn't feel like it would work. Go and bring in Amanda to him again. I feel like for the guy going at work, it gives them a motivation for what he's doing, and it's kind of cute actually, kind of thing. And, with her OKD thing, it actually worked because early on, she's not sure about being, I know, being open to the opera because, you know, she like opera because it's getting predictable and fit into her schedule. And Milo, in Milo, he brings chaos with him everywhere he goes. Crack one of calamity. You know, go. It's like, interesting that she has to deal with being with him in Captain Groom. And they, they don't really make a big deal out of her going to like. I wish they kind of had made the right kind of that maybe come out chaos can be a good thing. And she kind of warned in the fact that it helped pick up a more interesting for and she ended up liking it at the end. But that is the interesting of the Capricorn. I feel like that will make the interest kind of interesting. It'll be a competent interest. I like order while well, I'm for chaos. It's like. It can all contract thing, and I feel like in the context, it actually kind of worked, and they kind of cute in the film code. Wow, well, won't we'll we were at play. Hopefully, we don't get tween when we are gonna, you know, just make them, just have them have a connect moment from day to day stuff, nothing crazy. And if even drag happens, it, it should be at least interesting and fit in the tone of the show. You know, I think for a couple people who did, I do feel like minus the front of the code. They owe to even add it more romantic and get able to keep within the show, show of tone, even the kind of dreamy stuff. Okay, primarily, uh, but I do feel like occasionally it can be kind of a uh, which is why I'm glad they kind of kind of get together and looking into. You know, go and see what happens. Um, oh, we got for Coco and Gumball and Penny and Gumball and that. Yeah, they're definitely stuck there, but it's not like overused, and I feel like it's not quite cringy. And again, they end up getting some like smoke out of it. So, hopefully that's what happened, but so far I do like what we're doing with her Hiroki thing. It leads to a few jokes, and I do like the dramatic stuff with her and the Coco. But, but, but this one, after probably of course, this one definitely more factor paint with a lot of gags um, in it. Potassio Boy making our major appearance, actually. They appear in a joke where they apparently tied up the guy who we had gone. I tell you, I'm kind of from opera stuff. My favorite part is a bit of Dashi Boy Coop. But they tied up, they're at the opera thing. They're at the confession band in there. They apparently tied up the other guy. And the other guy tied up the other guy. The guy come by and just goes, I want to go for a day off. <laughs> like that. I'm like, that makes me laugh so hard. And they're going, again, Dashi Boy Coop, extending sequence, which don't go on too long, but genuinely funny. And yeah, at this point, it started to be painfully obvious that they are going to be a big part. We are going to fail. And they kind of got it from the way they really vanish in the other one file. I feel like it's late too early to really turn. Hopefully, it'll be a while before it will become important as they're doing the can currently on. But from watching the get can be like, okay, we got like having major things to them, but don't shoot it's bottom line. They're going to be major, aren't they? So, but very better here than they were back in the other file. They, with them, Floppy, who still have great chemistry, they have. They're just funny. And they even, one will even get the okay, gate, you had one job. <laughs> it's um, I can't believe that was getting canon. Go the other one. But the main drama point is the opera stuff for one of the yeah. It's basically a cool episode. Not entirely, but a lot of it is Milo trying to make sure all the things haven't happened to the opera, so when we cut to the opera, we hear singing. It's not a bunch of Korean songs, but it's a lot of singing. And, a lot of it's really catchy, not kind of catchy, but very well done, well sung, and definitely quite fun. You know, and um, especially every end, Milo has to get on the act, and, and of course, we are being operated amazing. <laughs> it's, um, that's the highlight of the particular one, is just the opera stuff, and just all the singing we do, making it kind of be cool up code, which means both things we've seen. Go, come, go, like, 70% singing, which I like. Um, and even for me, I don't think I ever show ever the genuine opera go. I actually kind of different for the show. And um, I guess the one complaint this one can have, um, because of that, the Milo man thing, like, say that, despite that thinking, some part get slowed down a little bit. Um, and there are a few bits that I feel like go on too long. 
but like sometimes a line or two might go on a bit. Like some you you know this that they might be stretching your time this quite a bit. Probably Pearl had that feeling as well, more so, but this one had a few small moments from like that one slightly too long, but it's not a big deal because the rest of it, it when it's fat pink, it is fat pink and it got a lot of it's still doing the vlog. Okay. It's still got a lot of fat pink good gang, so I really like the one. I had a lot of fun with the couple code. It introduced new relationships I feel like could be interesting and this two episode work pretty well and giving it more motivation and just leaving a lot man, we got a lot of fat pink good gang, got great opera stuff. It's just a blast. It, it's like I don't you know, it's like it's one that's like it came between being good and very good because it got flown occasionally and and again, a couple people can be quite mixed on her, but I think Amanda will get more development. I mean, Baoji had Shane for what she had early on, but I go on, I believe they start relying more on just the other stuff rather than him just being all orderly. I mean, he, you know, even like Tim Baoji got blown up and became more interesting, like Baoji, you know, you know, and it's like. So I feel like she's gonna be like Bounty and I can go along we're gonna develop the character character more. Yeah. Go so, get we're gonna get to keep a view of her. But so far I feel like they minus that one bit in Pi Peril, they are handling it pretty well and I like what they're doing with, you know, I feel like what we're doing here actually kinda works. Rather it you know I feel like if the if we could do my own I could pair up phone where something instantly to happen. I can't forget anything interesting anything interesting Happening, go. I haven't gotten look at my game. Okay, well, I haven't forgot my own, you know what I mean? Okay, well, look at my people who do. Or maybe I should do anyone like I have this game for the deck. Or Dasher Boy. I mean, they are a big girl, a married couple. There you go. I can't remember the name why they're not dead. They're credited, but I don't remember the name. But I'm calling the Dasher Boy, Dan and Swampy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go, that is Poof Operator. A uh, very fun episode, all. Got a lot of, you know, got, again, just cuffing that drink, make the thing and got bring up one over the edge. Even more so than the other one, Kofarco. I quite like this one. And their party peril slash move operator, both fall up, go. one of them is slightly going to flow painting, but town complete and can good yoke, and this one, this one, it gives up more about for the character, and give gives up an but also have a lot of great opera gags, so, and of course the best DOG go home with Kofar. Go, there you go. I did not look at the timestamp for where I talked about the operator. I wanted to go back to the video. I never forgot the time which I started talking about Pony Pearl. But there you go. Uh, another flawed half hour with a slightly weak one, but a pretty dang strong one. Go. Yeah, I definitely very really approve. Go far, so it, Yep, things are just getting better, you know. They're experimenting a little bit with the type of we do, like having a lot of moving opera paint, or having up go be a little color paint. Again, hopefully not overdo my own main thing. Like, I'll appear occasionally, but it won't be till later in the hearing when they might tire. And maybe they'll just have them go, hey, let's just get together, you know, early on. No craving my attention to be more cool in real life. You know, and, you know, because again, why can't come on cartoons to kind of like, they have my like, bump, but then get together and then that can't, you know. I think I got looking preferable than having a bunch of shit around like, go. Hopefully, I think you know, to wrap mostly, again, I think about they didn't put enough emphasis for it to, but that could different kind of one, but we can't show they got together reasonably quickly, go so after that, it was some feeling. Go, so, yeah, another call a half hour and a good way to meet the stuff on Disney Channel. Go, so, tomorrow, yes, yeah, tomorrow, don't, no, I'm going to tweet again Halloween week, go, so, but, Shangar will be coming up in November, hopefully. You know, if it's not from November, and we're going to but probably, it could be from November because I know we're probably not going to have it in December, because of Christmas. We, that, tomorrow we have Worked, worked Day slash Wilder West. No idea what that's about, honestly. If they never, Wilder West is probably going to be going to Old West Town or something like that. No idea about Worked Day. Again, maybe part-time job stuff, I don't know. Um, again, maybe, maybe get going, because again, the Preckley, yeah, to, to clearly defy the Preckley gang, you know, the web code, of Pie Peril, this one, um, on Monday, but, mm, apparently binding, but apparently not, we just met them really nearly, so we don't mention this, so, and it's not, probably gonna mention the show one, good luck, well, so, 
But either way, tomorrow that should be fun. Go game time. Game mile time. Game mile channel. This one longer because I I quite a bit came up through operator and not uh, watch game up party apparel go. There we go, go go yeah. Hopefully you come with a bump back and have a pyrical form. Again, I have already started to give up more. We're now looking for virtual replica this far, just finished up the normal up and go get to the point where Lombies by Tanner and Flop Darn, which were very strong. Um. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's a question. What better? Roll Coaster or going to get to Milo? We're both very good. Yeah, I guess I'll leave that to you. Back to the Which part do you think is better? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, thank you tomorrow for the Gubba Code and the Saturday for the show topper. I also want to get a tweet, but nothing next week. Probably my old pal Nori put the top 10 special magic in Chicago today pretty quickly, and um, yeah, I primarily agree, but let's go. I guess they're going to go too. Anyway, yeah.